giving all praise and glory to the Most High, Bahasham on Mashiach Yahushai. We thank the Most High for another day closer to the kingdom, another day He's given us to get ourselves together for the kingdom is prepared. He already prepared for us, you know. So we just have to, uh, as much as possible, as much as within us, do what we need to do to please Him. Very important. I thank everyone that is joining me on the conference call and that's going to be able to hear this lesson. Whatever means that you'll be able to hear it. I suggest that you have some means to be able to say these lessons and and do that. So we can share it and it be something in your archives that you will have for a later date. It's very important. Because nothing more powerful than the truth. Giving all glory and honor to the Most High and the Mashiach Yahushai. Nothing is more powerful than the truth. They don't let nobody fool you. And everybody, a lot of people say they have the truth, they know the truth, but the truth is within the Bible. You can't compare no other book to the Bible. That's why even those that don't claim to be Hebrew Israelites, as we do, still gotta use what? The Bible. Scientists gotta use what it is that's written here. That's why it's the most dominant source of research that you can ever have. It's the word of the Mosai. Because eventually it's gonna come back here. It's gonna always come back here. So as always, Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, whatever you say, whatever you do in an action, do all by Hashem of Mashiach Yahushai. Give you thanks to the Most High and the Father. By Hashem of Mashiach Yahushai. That's how we thank the Most High. In the name of the Lord and Savior. I told you that in Ephesians 5 and 20. It says, give you thanks by Him. How is that? So you can understand through the precepts. Give you thanks always for all things unto the Most High and the Father. The same thing we just read in Colossians 3.17. Bahashama Mashiach Yahushai in the name of the Lord and Savior. See? There it is. So, what part of that you don't understand? That's why he said, You ask anything in my name, I will do it. If the Father can be glorified in the Son. He said, You ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. St. John 14, 13 and 15. So, he given us the instructions. It's just a matter of who hears what he's saying spiritually. That's what it's all about. Who's gonna hear what he's saying spiritually? Showing a uh, continuing the book of Job. That's the spirit I'll be going into it. Accomplices of the Son of the Most the Spirit of the Most High. That's the Most High to send His Holy Spirit to give us understanding, and wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be able to continue to bring forth His Word as He had Job. The book of Job being written to understand. So let's look at Job 22. Did Eliaphaz, the ten, ten midnight, answered and said, Can a man be profitable unto the most high, as he that is wise may be profitable unto himself? So can a man be profitable to the most high, as he that is wise be profitable unto himself? So you're going you're gonna to be profitable to the most high, as you think you're profitable to yourself? Things that you 
thinking you're going to be able to do and have a company. A lot of people think they've accomplished a lot themselves, by themselves. Not realizing that you can do nothing without the most high. And in the name of the Lord and Savior, because you're on your own. And when it comes down to it, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to be on their own. They're going to be doing whatever they're doing by themselves. Just a moment.